So here you see the board in my classroom that I use for daily intention setting. Uh, this goes with the video, that, uh, part two of daily intention setting. And then you also see some of the other boards in the classroom that have some of the heart-based emotions listed on them. We also see two students here who are doing the confident warrior and the humble warrior poses. Hello teachers. My name is Michelle Lopez and I am the creator of the Heart Center Classroom. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the previous topic that I talked about which was daily intention setting. So each day we choose an intention of what we want for our day. So we do this like we're choosing something off of a menu. Um, I have an anchor chart up in the classroom and the anchor chart will show different um, heart emotions or character traits or just things that we want each day as I spoke about in my previous video. So if you look at these as a menu, um, we can just go straight to the menu and say, what would I like to order today? <laughs> kind of like that. Sounds like kind of a silly example, but it really uh, does work that way. So, uh, so this morning, um, I asked the students as I do every morning, I say to them, what do we want today? What do we want to choose for today? And I like to hear from them because I don't want it to be like I'm preaching or lecturing to them and just telling them uh, what it is that I think we should do. I want to really hear their thoughts. And one of the students mentioned something about uh, being humble. And so whenever students mention something that is of a unique quality like that, I just kind of jump on it and we kind of run with it. So, uh, so what we did was we talked about and it's just kind of like an in the moment lesson, a mini lesson where I just kind of jump on the topic and kind of start into the um, coaching session with them uh, of intention setting. So when she said that, I said, oh, we're talking about humility. So humility is the intention for today or being humble. And then we talk about what it means. So in order to explain to them what it means, we also talk about what it doesn't mean. And so we went into this whole conversation about uh, how, you know, sometimes we can be a little show-off-y or, uh, you know, kind of it's not bragging to our friends or it's not trying to uh, one-up somebody, so to speak. But rather, we want to have humility that is coupled with confidence. So it's, it's one thing to be confident. We want confidence. We want to foster confidence in our children. And, and that was actually an intention that we did on another day was confidence. So the conversation went into this whole thing about confidence and humility and how do these look together in a person. And, and we talked about specific examples from our life. Um, I gave them, I shared examples, they shared examples with me. And we kind of got the idea after this discussion about it. And then of course I go and I write the intention on the board for the day. It also reminded me of the other aspects of yoga, which is uh, uh, the asana practice where we actually do body postures and movements. And it reminded me of the warrior pose, which is, this is our confidence, right? We're standing in our confidence. Um, and then it reminded me of another pose, the humble warrior pose, um, which is, a, has a different feeling than the the actual warrior pose but both are something that we definitely want we want to be confident and we want to have it with a sense of humility and so uh, the kids actually we did a little practice with these two poses in class actually doing the postures but the yoga here is actually it's not the postures but it's in the mind okay so how do we act as that confident warrior how do we behave as that humble warrior so just wanted to talk a little bit about that and uh, hopefully I will edit into this video what those postures look like um, once I get into the um, editing phase of this. And then also I will show to you um, what our anchor chart looks like um, with the actual uh, heart-based emotions, character traits and things like that so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about, about um, get a better visual for it. Anyway, so, well, thank you for joining me today, and if you like, you can um, subscribe to my channel, The Heart Centered Classroom, or visit my website, The Heart, Heart Centered Classroom. It's kind of a work in progress right now and uh, still has lots of updating to do, so that's one of my uh, projects coming up is to spend a little time updating that website. But, and you can also visit me on Facebook at The Heart Centered Classroom. Thank you for joining me today.